Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about some security settings in systems uh, configuration in ClickView Server. So I'm here system setup and on the server uh, in security tab. So at the start, it has different options called always anonymous, allow anonymous. So we're going to look have an impact. You know what each of these setting means. So if I say it's always anonymous, so uh, even if you know uh, now even if I log in. It's not showing me anything because uh, only the documents that will be published will be available for anonymous. So there is a documentation I'm um, trying to share uh, which will allow the anonymous uh, access. So for there are further additional settings uh, we need to do in order to have the document to be accessed for by the anonymous uh, guy uh, people. But uh, this is if you can see you know it is always anonymous. But if I say that anonymous as well as name people so if I get that setting and now if I come here so now you say it says welcome anonymous and I can sign in as well and I can see my applications as well here so that is the kind of a difference so uh, in one case I can only see um, you know anonymous uh, applications and uh, there is no concept of logged in user even if I log in whereas uh, in other case uh, there is like you know it uh, do both and now if I say pro in, uh, uh, okay just before I do that I'm gonna sign out and it says welcome anonymous okay so if there is any application access uh, published for anonymous it is gonna show up here but if I say prohibit anonymous and now I come here and refresh here I'm just gonna apply here and so it still says anonymous but essentially uh, there even if there is any document published for anonymous it's gonna not gonna show up uh, idly it should not be uh, anonymous here uh, you know even if I sign out it takes me you know it is not going to take me to the anonymous it is going to take me to this session so it says or uh, it's prohibited always I have to be the user then I have the authorization type uh, there are two authorization types. Uh, I'm going to discuss that in my next videos. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned.